Hello and welcome to another Applied Energy Statistics 2 tutorial video. Today we are going to talk about load balancing while doing order crafting or rather auto processing as I'm doing here since I'm doing these interface to uh, machines that means we're doing processing order crafting and load balancing well it's how to even out the workload on uh, several machines. So if I'm doing 100 pieces of uh, smooth stone, then I want the all 100 to be spread out on all these furnaces to make it as quickly as possible. Uh, this might be useful when you're doing things that require, sev require several thousands of uh, processed items, glass for example. Then you might need to spread it out on several machines. And there are different ways to do this. Uh, Perhaps only one way with pure AE2, um, but you, do, you can do it in a cheaper way with other mods. So let's talk about the first setup I have over here. This is where here we have three interfaces. We have one recipe in each. The encoder pattern says why one iron ingot from one iron ore. And then the interface is in its standard uh, setting. I haven't changed anything. Just place it down and place the pattern inside. These furnaces are configured to have input from behind, sorry, behind and output to the top. So when it's processed, they will be out output to the back here. So let me demonstrate while do this by doing this. So iron ingots, um, let me do three of those ores to ingots start. The problem is what you can see here. We have all of them in the same furnace. Even though I have the same pattern in every one, they all end up in this one. Perhaps it's not a big problem when you're doing like a few of them, but let's say we want to do, as soon as we start to make 10, all of them in the same, it will take some time. Uh, let me cancel that and demonstrate where is it here um, if you're doing a hundred well then it's not as big of a problem since this one will fill up quite quickly and then the next one will fill up and and so on so it will still work uh, it will just take a bit longer to set things up so now the next one is starting to fill up and so on so not a very big problem when doing like this, but still it's not, not balanced. So that's what we want to do. So here's how I have done it with the pure A2. We still have one interface in all, and this one is making charcoal from wood. So the patterns are the same. The pattern is one of these to one of these, and then just make the pattern like that. So nothing strange there. The, what I'm doing here is that every of these interfaces is set to blocking mode. Do not push crafting items if inventory contains items. Uh, basically there are only two options here. So this is the standard, ignore the contents, and this is the other setting. This means that we will never have more than one in each. So now if we order a hundred charcoals, charcoals then you can see all of them are running we only have one in each and then immediately one more is pushed to each and every one so now we have an optimal way to do, of doing this but it will cost us a few channels as you can see here one channel for every interface of course the one up here is it's completely standalone network so you no need to bother about that um, but this is the most efficient way. Uh, let's see where we have. So we're already halfway. That's great. Now, this can be a little bit expensive in terms of materials. It can be costly in channels, but this is a way to do it and it works perfectly. The cheaper variant of doing this uh, is by using other mods. So if you have a mod with pipes, uh, for example, Ender IO with the conduits, that you can set in round robin mode. That means it will take turns where to put things. 
So, and this is configured in this output, this extract one, and set it to round robin enabled. Then it, they will be quite evenly distributed. So the pattern here is only on one channel. It means stone to cobblestone. Um, they will all end up in this chest. They will be output from this chest and then round robined to these furnaces and then inserted back into the interface. So let me demonstrate by doing 100 of these. Let me try that again. 100 of these, start. So all of them ended up in here and they are now ending up here. And they're quite evenly distributed. Let me see when they are all exported. They are still in the interface buffer. When I do like, let's say 45, 45. Yeah, they're perfectly distributed right now. Uh, when I do like 10, then they ended up like six here and four there. So not perfect, but quite close. So this is probably the best variant of doing it using other mods. But if you don't have any other mod with round robin features in the pipe systems, then this is the way to do it with the blocking mode turned on. It will cost you channels, but it will work perfectly fine. So I hope this will help you if you need to do this, this type of setup. And uh, well, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.